Krishna told Vidur later on that he used to go to Maitre and I have told everything to Uddhar Maitre. Maitre will give you all knowledge. So Vidur went there and he asked Maitre Rishi. <coughs> it is very wonderful that Jeev is Chetan and always with Krishna with Brahma, Parabrahma. But how? 
it became that Maya, he was, she was entangled in Maya. <coughs> then Maitri is answering. <coughs> I can tell you in brief only one reason. That Krishna power is Aghatan Ghatan Patiyashi Shakti. She can do impossible. What is that? She can make the possible, impossible, and the impossible, impossible. possible. But never impossible to make it. So, Aghatan, Ghatan, Pyash, Patishi, Krishna, Shakti. So, only this is reason. That he hides the mercy of Krishna, Paramatma. And see, that's Jeev in condition. He become conditioned. So reason is what? That Aghatan Pyatishi. But this is the power of Krishna. She cannot do anything against the desire of Krishna. Then why Krishna is doing so? That all so many Jeevas are Suffering so much? Why? Tattu lila kaivalyam. Lila kaivalyam. There are so many past times of Krishna. Why not should these be? Krishna. Oh, Sisti lila. This is Sisti lila. There should be no lacking. No. And there, there will be no question why. No. It's quite independent. You cannot ask any question. Why you have done so? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Anything there which you can. <laughs> oh, you cannot understand by yukti. Argument. Argument. Logic, you cannot. Achint bhavishis. Achinta khalu bhava na tans tarkei na joje. Don't try to understand transcendental thing by your limited. You can. So what Vedas have told, especially what the essence of Vedas like Srimad Bhagavat has told. What our Goswami, essence of Bhagavat, they have to. We should rely on them. <laughs> Bhagavat Achinta Shakti. By only this, Jiv is, comes my and mine in this body. And Maya ke prati mo, mo, even led by Maya. Only this reason. Bastuta. Practically or transcendentally. By constitutional form. Jivara Shuddha. Because they have come from Shuddha. Chit Shakti, but manual, but there is nothing Maya in his constitution. We say, we say, she, that now we are Baddha by cross and material uh, body. <coughs> now, Jeev, first Mahatattva comes, after that Ahankar, Ahankar then Man Buddhi, Ahankar, Chita, all, and after that this comes. This is Bandhan. But this Bandhan is not true. You should not think that is, this is true. 
Matter is she is telling to be the This Sarup Brahm, Sarup Brahm, you know, so many kinds of, but especially the Hatma Buddhi. This Sarup Brahm, <coughs> if no light, no sun, <coughs> darkness. What is darkness? Any satta of darkness? Absence of light. No sat. Eh? No existence of darkness. Only if there is no sun, or oh, there is night, there is antakar, or oh, that is here. No Krishna service, oh my avatar. Like you are sleeping in the night and you are seeing a dream that my head is cut off. <laughs> but when you will walk, then what you will see? Nothing. So when you will awoke by the mercy of Guru, you said, oh, what I was seeing a dream like. <laughs> so don't be nervous, upset in this maya, if suffering coming. See that this is due to oh, sleepness. <laughs> in this way, giving an example, Chandra is in a sky, moon in a sky, and there is water, any pond or anywhere. And Chandra, moon is reflection. There is a tree there on the bank of that pond. But when air comes and there is kampan, shaking, in pond, then it seems that tree is going to descend. Right? Tree is there where it was. Moon is there. Moon is not trembling. trembling. But it seems. So Jeev is serving Krishna. But it seems that we are not serving. We are serving. Like you should give a cloth on watch. Cover the watch. We are seeing that no moment, nothing. But moment is going on. If you are cheap, Jiva Shakti, you are serving anyhow in this bondage stage also. But you don't realize. Don't you can. What's the eh? <laughs> Oh, he is doing like comes in serving Krishna indirectly. If there was no comes, no sweet pastimes of Praja. If there was no Raman, no Ram Lila, no pastimes of Ram. You are also serving anyone. Or any condition, but he has no real <laughs> But don't think that I am serving. You are in dream, really. <laughs> Narada is stolen. When he took darshan of, a glimpse darshan of Krishna, and at once it went down, went away. This appeared. Then he was weeping so much. Then an aerial sound came. Don't be nervous. Out of mercy, I have given a sporty huh? darshan to increase your weight. Now, you cannot see me. If any slight, any gandh of, any spell of maya in your heart, 
you cannot have my darshan. Now you should, what do? Go everywhere. Take this Veena Yantra and speak my past and you should glorify me. Nardmuni Bajaya Veena. Radhika Ramana Name. Everywhere is going. So he is telling that, and Krishna told him, Ariel, that you should wait. Hmm? How many years you will have to be here? And in the end you will have me. So he is telling, Payyujyamane mai tan suddhang bhagavati tanum arabdha karma nirvano nepata pancha bhaushake. What meaning? Om Gyanat Varadha Saka Nandana Salaka Chakshur Nuritam Jena Chasmaisi Gurave Namaha Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak briefly upon this verse. Prayuja Mane Maitam Shuddham Bhagavatim Tanum Arabdha Karma Nirvano Nyapata Panjabautika This verse is spoken by Narad Rishi himself. He is explaining his own life experience to Srila Vyasadev, his disciple. He described how after having the darshan of his Lord he spent his life traveling here and there and doing kirtan. And then when the very last moment of his life came, just as lightning and illumination occur at the same time, so similarly, two things had happened at the same time. What? Payujya mane maitam, shudham bhagavatim tanum. At once he uh, attained his transcendental body, which was suitable for rendering service directly to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And at the same time, prarabdha karma niravano, his prarabdha karmas, all the, any influence of Maya was nyapatat pancha bautika, it was completely removed. So, uh, Srila Vishnachakri Thakur, in his commentary on this verse, explained, it's just like Dhruva Maharaj, when Dhruva Maharaj was leaving this world to go to the Dhruvalok, as he went, went to step onto the aeroplane, suddenly he became effulgent. Hmm? He became effulgent. He did not die, he did not give up his body. But there and then, the influence of Maya went away and he was situated in spiritual form. So in the same way, Narad Rishi, at that very last moment, just as lightning and illumination occur at the same time, similarly, the Nyapatat Panchabotika, the influence of the material elements or was withdrawn and he was situated in his eternal transcendental siddhadeya. This is a vastu siddhi, uh, his perfection. Thank you. So we are all a siddhadev. Siddhadeya, you know, transcendental beautiful form. In our body, all we have. And by that we can serve Krishna. Now it has been covered by the mercy of Guru and Krishna. When time comes, all anath goes away and we reach up to arati stage. Bhav. Then Suddha Sattva comes and then you can realize your Siddha Devi. And that is called Sub Siddhi. But here Narada Vastu Siddhi. Vastu Siddhi. Not only Sarup Siddhi. He has received, realized Sarup Siddhi before. So we, we each have a very sun, beautiful, marvelous, attractive, a body that is called Suddha Devi. Hidden here but by the mercy of Krishna. Like Narada, at once this came and this cross body and mind, man buddhi hankar chitta, all. This is general. 
general name rule. And what he told about Dhruva? Oh, not on all cases. But there you must know anyhow he has left his that gross body and all. But anyone could not see. But regarding Krishna, you should not think like that. A dead body was there. And all the smart brahmanas, this sanskar of that body, walling this is cheating, nothing else. So, you should try to have mercy of Gurudev and throw him. You should try to do bhajan, especially like Narad. Shonan Sabhadrani Rathanga Pane Janmani Karman Chajani Loke Gitani Namani Tadarthakani Gayan Vilaji Vichari Vichari Evang Brataswa Priya Nama Kritya Jatanu Rago Jita Chitta Ucchai Harsatta Tho Rodati Rauti Gayat Unamadyati Nityati Loka Vai No shame at all. No shame. Loudly. Whether he is naked or what? Not knowing and always, sometimes laughing. Oh. Remembering, Remembering the pastimes of Krishna. Sometimes weeping. Oh, Krishna, where went? Rolling on the ground. And sometimes rolling on the ground. Sometimes all. Ho ho. They can be began to laugh, laugh loud. <laughs> all will think that he is mad but not mad. This is the aim and object. You should try also. <laughs> Always try to engage your mind in Shaman Kirtan, Shvarn, Pad, Sevan, Archan, Bandham, Dasham, Sarkar, especially Nam Sankirtan. Always engage. Then Maya cannot attack you. Otherwise Maya will attack. Go Prema Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, please be prepared for drama. Some devotee has requested for initiation. Initially Saturday and Sunday. Initiation will take place in the Buddha's Bhajan Kuti. Saturday 8.30 am and Sunday 8.30 am if needed. Otherwise only Saturday. And fire sacrifice will be headed by Sipad Jiva Prabhu. Fire sacrifice headed by Jiva Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Everybody please sit down if everyone can move back, including the children up in the front here. I just want to mention if anybody found Hare Krishna, attention please. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hey, but we can get things for you, but also we'll be purchasing items, and then we'll have a table set up where you can come and actually get a plate that's ready to offer. Several, oh, one other thing just before that. I've been asked to announce two things in regards to the festival. Um, please, if you've just come or you haven't yet, please come and register to help us make this festival uh, a great success. Also, we still have many devotees can sign up for our school program. Especially during the classes, they, the parents need to watch them or to arrange to have someone watch them for them because we're finding them running around, climbing in the trees, jumping on fences, you know, doing so many destructive things. So please, parents, take some responsibility for watching your children. Uh, one other thing, the roads here, original paintings that she's created under the guidance of Srila Gurudev. Actually, Srila Gurudev has manifested these paintings through her, and she likes to give a class for an explanation of how these paintings manifested and how Srila Gurudev himself 
is actually in these paintings. Nice. And then Shripad, uh, or Shriman Budarp, who is going to explain to you just for a minute something about what is going to be presented tomorrow. And you'll also be able to view these beautiful paintings. They'll all be coming to the class for you to see, and that will begin at 10.30 a.m. Hare Krishna. I'm, I'm very lucky once again to have the chance to make an announcement that's quite special because this class tomorrow is a chance for you to see up close some very special paintings. They're deities of the Supreme Lord that have been created by Shamarani under Gurudev's direct instruction. Every leaf, every subtle nuance in the painting, every hair, every posture, pose, mood, being directed by Srila Gurudev. And I know you're going to want to see these paintings up close and hear these stories, aside from the fact that they're very nectarian stories full of uh, Krishna Katha and Guru Katha. I'll tell you a secret. I know you're going to want to listen to this because it's, it's quite important. Sometime not too long from now, these paintings are going to be available to you if you can make the right donation <laughs> for Srila Gurudev's Navadvit project. Haribo. So, uh, and we're going to have at least one painting made available in a way that all of you can have a chance to own it. So I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. I'm going to keep the secret and create the tension so that you'll all come to the class tomorrow, take part in this really sweet Hari Kata, and also have darshan of these paintings at 10.30 in the morning. Thank you very much. Um, one, uh, one last thing. Um, I made an announcement last night about the books. I want to thank everybody for showing a great deal of interest in the books. When I went around last night and showed everyone what you get for $39, everyone was really amazed. I can't believe I'm getting 117 books. So please continue to follow up with that. I said something misleading last night. We have three different packages of pre-packaged books. In other words, pre-selected combinations of books packaged and ready to go for $39, uh, $70, and $117. If, however, you don't like the way that we've packaged the different packages and you want to just select your own combination of books, you're more than welcome to do so and take advantage of these really incredible prices. The only thing we ask is that you select at least $100 worth. So I hope that's uh, clear now. Uh, and one last thing, there, just to remind everyone, uh, all the senior Vaishnavas that are taking part in the Bhakti Trust Advisory uh, Board, uh, again, we have a very early start tomorrow morning at 7.30 in the morning, so please, all senior Vaishnavas are welcome to take part, to voice your opinion on important issues related to Guru Dave's mission. No, 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 it's not, it's not only men, it's senior Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, so please, uh, anybody who feels uh, interested, uh, where? Uh, the garage? Okay, the, the garage behind where Srila Gurudev is staying. Has anyone lost a, a lens cover for a Canon camera? If so, you can see me afterwards and get it. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. Um, my name is Vishen Bardas. I want to make a reminder. Yesterday, Budara Prabhu and a few other devotees went around with the order forms and distributed around, I think, 70 order forms. We only have 30 left, and we're hoping that the 70 devotees that received the order forms will come to the book table and make their orders. So please come to the book table over there um, and make your orders. We accept. And, they, and you are shipping the books to wherever you're from. Yeah, we're shipping wherever you're at. We're shipping from Martinez, California, all the books. In addition, we're also continuing the fundraising for Gorasundar Prabhu for his medical care. Um, Radha Vinodini Didi, she has a report, she's over here, to give of how Gorasundar Prabhu is doing in Hawaii 
if she could come up and give a little share with the devotees how he's doing, it would be nice. Just coming around. Oh, there will be two different, there's two different CDs actually at the book table of Gaurasundar Prabhu and of the Kirtans during the Badger Festival in 2001 that are there for, available for all the devotees, for devotees that come and give donations for Gaurasundar's medical care. Here's Radha I hope Gurudev will empower me to say a few words. Uh, we have here this uh, beautiful CD that was recorded five years ago by Gora Gopal, who is now in Mathura with the Premananda Prabhu. And uh, we con took the best bhajans and kirtans and a little bit of Gurudev's class and a little bit of Gurudev's comments to some of the bhajans and uh, put it together into a CD that will, if you put it on, it will take you right back here and uh, will create the very sweet mood that we're all experiencing here uh, in bed at this festival uh, at your home. So I hope that you can all take advantage of this. we asking everyone to make a contribution of $10 or more, or if you don't, if you have a small budget, give whatever you can, and to uh, help out with the fundraiser for Gorasunda Prabhu. Uh, this was, the city was inspired by Srila Gurudev, who went recently to Hilo to visit Gurudev, uh, uh, to visit Gorasunda, and to, uh, <coughs> I was very touched that Gurudev just pulled out some money up from his own pocket and gave it to Gurusunda to help uh, pay for his care. His um, mother, Mangala, is doing the day shift and his sister is taking care of him at, at night. And Gurudev asked all the devotees in Hilo and the whole Vaishnav community to please contribute and help Gorasunda. Gorasunda is a very, very near and dear disciple of Srila Gurudev. And for those who are new here, uh, he, he had an accident last summer and is uh, paralyzed at, for the time being and is not able to uh, move very much and he needs a lot of care. and. Uh, uh, the family is dependent on the mercy of the devotees uh, because he's such a wonderful devotee this is actually a very very great opportunity for us to be able to do some service to such an exalted soul so please take advantage of this uh, come to the book table the CDs will be at the book table down below uh, this is the, the Badger Festival, 2000 Live. And we have another CD that is uh, a CD of Bhajans by Gora Sundar. Very sweet, both of them. Hi, Ro. I just wanted to let everyone know real quick. Yes. I just wanted everyone to know real quickly, I have five more sets of Srila Gurudev shoes. I will be over at the uh, table over there after the program tonight. Anyone who wants them, 251. Thank you so much. Oh, day after tomorrow, Annakot also make so many preparations like last year. At least three, sixty are more than that. So you can begin from Friday. today. Friday. You can Friday. begin dry things from today, Friday. tomorrow, Friday. and thus we will begin on the course. Krishna, lost and found property, one visa card, valid up to November 2005. Name is John E. Ullerman. 
Whose credit card is this? They can collect from me. Hare Krishna. Huh? <laughs> Shrinivas Acharya is one of the most important Vaishnav teachers in the generation immediately following Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is chiefly remembered as an illustrious disciple of both Gopal Bhatt Goswami and Jiva Goswami. And his achievements include leading the very first book distribution party that they hand wrote every single book. Just imagine. In the history of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, converting to Krishna consciousness King Bir Hambir of Vana Vishnupur, originating the Manohar Shor style of Kirtan, developing elaborate techniques for Manjari Sadhan, and co-organizing the first Gaur Purnim festival, which was held at Ketori with Narottam Das Thakur, Shyamananda, and thousands of other Vaishnavas. Srinivas's parents, Gangadhar Bhattacharya and his wife, Lakshmi Priya, were both great devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they raised young Srinivas to lovingly sing Gaur Kirtan. At the age of 20, Srinivas met Narhari Sarkar, a personal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who encouraged him to go to Jagannath Puri and see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And so, around the year 1534, Young Srinivas Acharya set off to see the Lord of his life. Oh! Soon! Soon I shall be in Jagannath Puri! And I shall see the beautiful lotus-like face of my dear Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu! Oh, who is now dancing amongst the most fortunate devotees of Jagannath Puri. Soon I shall see him. When I get there, the first thing I shall do is throw myself into the dust of the sacred ground of, of Jagannath Puri and roll in the dust left by the feet of the exalted Vaishnavas. Oh! Prabhu, I have a very bad news to tell you. Oh! We are there! Oh! Oh, jump that down! Prabhu, you must listen. Yes! Prabhu, you must listen. Mahaprabhu is no more. He has left this world. And this Dila, we cannot see it anymore on this world. No! No! I have failed to obtain my heart's desire. Darshan of my beautiful Lord! What shall I do now? My life is ruined. I think I shall just die right here, either burning in fire or by drowning. Ah, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> In a dream, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Srinivas, Do not lament. I am always with you, and you are eternally my devotee. After the vision of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Srinivas made his way to the Gopinath temple and took shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Garadhar Pandit. <laughs> oh, Prabhu, Prabhu! My name is Srivas, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has sent me here to see you. Srinivas, I'm so glad you have come here and introduced yourself to me. Just before Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left this world, 
and went into Aprakat Lila. He instructed me to teach you the Bhagavatam. He knew that you would arrive in Jagannath Puri after his departure, and he asked me to explain Krishna Lila to you. But alas, O oh young Srinivas, I cannot teach you at this time, for the manuscript in my possession has been soaked by the Lord's tears as he read of the separation between Radha and Krishna. All the words have become smeared. Just look. <laughs> oh, Prabhu! What shall I do? You must go to the house of Narahari Sakar and obtain another copy of the Bhagavatam from him. But please hurry. My feelings of separation for my Lord are so strong that I cannot remain in this world for long. Please hurry. Oh, yes, Prabhu! Prabhu! <laughs> When Srinivas Acharya arrived in Bengal at the house of Narhari Sakar, he heard of the passing of Garadhar Pandit. He took the news very hard. Oh no! No! I have again missed my heart's desire. Sri Garadhar Pandit was going to teach me about Sri Krishna Leela my relationship with that Leela and the process by which I can obtain entrance into that Leela and the goal of my practice divine service to their Lordship Sri Sri Radha and Krishna and the wonderful gift of Krishna praying but he has gone how will I obtain my heart's desires maybe Maybe I should just die right here. <laughs> Overcome by lamentation, Srinivasacharya sat in trance. Sri Gadadhar Pandit appeared. <laughs> My heartly blessings to you. Do not worry. For your mood of separation for the Lord and his devotees has been fanned into a blazing fire. <coughs> Go to Vrindavan and take shelter of Rupa and Sanatna. They will instruct you in the intimate secrets of Bhakti. Yes, Prabhu. Sri Rupa and Sri Sanatan Goswami are inexhaustible. They have fully renounced all worldly desires and they are fully dedicated to the internal desires of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. They have found all the lost holy places of Radha and Krishna's pastime. They have re-established proper deity worship. And they have written super excellent nectarian scriptures on Bhakti and Bhagawan. Oh, soon, soon I shall be in Vrindavan, the land of Srimati Radhika. Oh, at that time, I shall be granted the exalted privilege of serving those Exalted Braj Rashi Vaishnavas. Oh, soon. I shall be there soon. Oh, fortunate Rich Bossy, please, can you tell me where the Govinda Dev Temple is? And Their Holiness, Sri Sri Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami. Oh, Prabhuji, the Govinda Dev Temple is over there, but. However, she does not go Swami has passed away four months ago, and Rupa Goswami left only four days after. Prabhu. 
<laughs> oh, how unfortunate I am! I have lost the association of these divine personalities. Oh, where is Rupa Goswami gone? Oh, where is Sanatana Goswami? All of together, they have gone to join the great dancer, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, I shall dash my head on the stone or burn myself. My life from now on is worthless. Where are they? Oh, oh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh. While in this mood of deep, deep lumberage, Srinivas Acharya saw Rupa and Sanatana Goswami. These great souls instructed him to take Diksha from Gopal Bhatta Goswami and Shiksha from Jiva Goswami. Taking these instructions to heart, Srinivas went to the Govinda Dev temple where he was greatly warm, warmly welcomed by Jiva Goswami and all his followers. He then took Diksha initiation from Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who revealed to Srinivas Acharya at this time that he, Srinivas, is non different from Mani Manjari in Braj. Gopal Bhatta Goswami also revealed his own eternal spiritual as Guna Manjari. In this identity, upon which he would now cons consistently meditate upon, she would assist Guna Manjari in her service to Sri Radha. This was to be his inner meditation from that day. Gopal Bhatt Goswami explained to Srinivas Acharya that this mode of the mood of devotional service is called Ragatmika Bhajan. After revealing these confidential truths, Gopal Bhatt Goswami and Jiva Goswami introduced Srinivas Acharya to all of the inhabitants of Raj. Two other young devotees had been placed under Jiva Goswami's tutelage, the illustrious Narottam and young Duki Krishnadas. <coughs> These three devotees became Jiva Goswami's best students and were widely known as inseparable friends. One day Jiva Goswami called his students to him. My dear Narottam, Srinivas and Duki Krishnadas, I am very pleased with your studies of the forest in Vrindavan with Raghava Pandit over the past few years. Now I have a new mission for you. Jonathan Devi has contacted me and requests that the Bhakti Ras scriptures be brought to Bengal. Thus I have chosen you three to bring these sacred texts there. But first, Naratam Das, step forward. From now on, you will be known as Nartam Thakur Mahashai. Hariwa! Srinivas, Srinivas Das, step forward. From now on, you will be known as Srinivas Acharya. Hariwa! Sri Krishna, Duki Krishna Das. Since you have brought so much pleasure to Srimati Radharani, from now on, you will be known as Shamananda. Haribo! 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 After many months of travel, they approached the land of Godadesh. We are almost in Bengal, and all is well. Let us rest in this town for the night and continue travel in the morning. Yes, this looks very nice, but make sure the guards watch the books. Ah, let us take rest. I am very tired. The king of Vana Vishnupur, King Birhambir, 
had sent dacoits to plunder the Sankirtan party for treasure. The dacoits had been following the devotees for weeks and chose this night to attack. <coughs> Meanwhile, at the court of King Birhambir, the king eagerly anticipates his stolen treasure. My astrologers have prophesied that there was a cart going through my kingdom last night. And it was carrying some very precious treasure. My dacoits should be here any minute with my surprise. I wonder what it shall be. Gold? Or maybe gems, even more valuable than gold. <coughs> Where are they? Can't wait any longer. Ah, here it is. Set it there, yes. Ah, what is my treasure? Protect this box. 